Welcome into Hook 'em High. I am Zach, and we are on a four day backpacking trip in the Uintas looking for big fish. Let's hope we get some. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we made it to the lake. It is a beautiful place, and we are here setting up camp. Got a tent and everything. So here's Travis. Travis, how was the hike in? It's pretty brutal. All right, let's come over here to Josh. Josh has a nice spot. How was it, Josh? It was fantastic, man. <laughs> I haven't done a I haven't done a bushwhacking hike like that since I was I think like 13 years old, and it was just oh my goodness, makes you feel alive again. <laughs> That's really nice up here. These we did a lot of bouldering to get up here, a lot of getting over deadfall, but it was nice. So the reason why we chose this place for a couple reasons. One, all the lakes that we're going to are over 20 feet deep, so they don't winter kill. At least they're not supposed to. And there's no trails to them either. So I don't think people have been up here for a while. And if they are, they're kind of crazy like us. But yeah, these lakes, Which they seldom see people. Have respect for them for What's that, Josh? Which at that point, you know, if you're making it this far, respect. Yeah. Congratulations. If you can figure out where we are, on these trails, then good for you. That's what I hope for. I hope that these videos inspire you to get out and catch. So let's go catch some fish. So we've got quite the array of lures here that we're gonna try up in these mountains between everybody. We've got a couple marabou jigs, which are one of my favorites. They're wonderful little things. They're fuzzy, they get a lot of attention. We got some spinners, which the Joe's flies that never fail. Also got some tube jigs here. And then we'll also try some flies behind a bubble. So they've got little tiny grasshoppers, which are gonna do great, and streamers as well. And then Travis has some spoons as well, and some woolly boogers, and some plastics. So we'll see what happens. Get the net. Bring the net, Travis. Huh? Is he gone? Travis almost got one here. He jumped off right at the last second. What are you using, Travis? Uh, I use a spot right here. A single hook. And it's a bubble. A bubble. Yes. He's going to fly behind a bubble. He just had one on, but he got off right at the last second. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. And he's the he caught the first one well, almost good job travis okay, he's got one looks like a nice rookie yeah. yep. let's see bring him in let's see got him off of the jake lure Go well together. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Casey's got another one, not even one cast after his first one. Let's see. Oh, he does look nice. All right, all right, let's land him. Bring him in. Wow, he is actually a really nice brook trout. Holy cow, that's a big trout for a brook trout. He is nice. Wow. Oh, he got just a nice one off of a Jake's as well. It's kind of tough to get it out of his mouth, but he's a big guy. That's a nice trout right there. 
so far, Casey's the only one that's been able to get anything. And he's been using the Jake's lure. So Jake's and Brookie's always go well together. Casey just caught a really gorgeous male trout. Look at him. I love the color on these brook trout. That is awesome. And then the other one? No, you know, one he's not like as age. bigger. Yeah, but he's a little thicker. He's a nice male. Casey is smoking us. This is number four. And none of us has even caught one yet. Holy moly. Colorado cutty. That's a nice Colorado cutthroat too out of here. Wow. So I actually didn't expect for there to be really big fish in this lake. Uh, but so far, Casey, everyone that he's caught has been about 17 inches. And for the Uintas, that's a big fish. It's actually surprising, actually, how good they are. We were just gonna use this one as a base camp. And so the fish are this big here at the lake that we thought most more people would be at. I'm excited for the other lakes that we're gonna be going to as well. Josh just caught one. Got a nice brookie. Beautiful. That. <laughs> wow. That color right there, like especially on his fins when he goes in. Josh doing some dentistry over there. For real. All right. I just caught my first one. The little brookie. Not as big as everybody else's, but as far as brook trout go, still pretty nice. Caught him off of the Jake's. Or not the Jake's, the, the Joe's fly. My tried and true so far. I didn't, couldn't catch anything off the Jake's, so I, uh, I changed it. But look how beautiful the, ooh, <laughs> these colors are. Just amazingly red and beautiful. He a little small, so I think I'm going to let him go. These are some really pretty brook trout. They are gorgeous. Like that color that right, there. right there. That orange is awesome. Yeah. Good job, Travis. Cut his on a fly. And I, I, like I emptied out half of this too. Just there you go. Test it so out. they're starting to eat off the top, maybe. But, yeah. yeah. Look at that guy. It's beautiful. <laughs> Just got a nice big old trout here. He is gorgeous. He is amazing. The beautiful female. We're gonna measure her, see how big she is. It's fish. Beautiful yeah, she fish. Is. All right, so 23 there. 238. 15. On. 23 to 38, right? 38. It's just about, 15, yeah. yeah. 15 inches. 15 inches. There we go. What's the number to beat right now? 17. Huh? 17 is the record right now out of all of us. So, yeah, they got the these crew. are some nice fish in here, guys. Wow, that's a nice one. Not a beautiful spot, yeah, too. We'll keep this one. We're keeping it? Yeah. yeah. One. He's a nice one, too. The males are the brighter ones. Beautiful dude right there. Man, he is nice, too. I'd say he's about 14. They're so, brook trout are so pretty. I love these things. Here you go. Nice, dude. Congratulations, Josh. Thank you. This is, the, uh, this is the second official fish. There was another one I had on my hook, but he danced himself away. Respect. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah beautiful beautiful color look at that look at that belly like look at the color on that such a beautiful it's just, red it's a gorgeous like look at that little spot right there oh it's i wonder if that's a tumor it's kind of like a bump <laughs> uh oh <laughs> well buddy you weren't locked for this world anyway so in an afternoon we've caught about how many, how many fish have we I've caught in total i've caught two travis has caught one you've caught caught how many? three Three cases Case caught, caught four. four. He's probably going to catch Damn. another one down there. Honestly, probably. Yeah. So it's been a great night for fishing, and it's actually been a really good lake. The top lure today has been the little Jake's lure. Let's see that thing. Little Jake's. You cannot he is caught. beat that this with is, brook uh, trout. What is this now? Four, five, five fish off the Jake's. Five lure. fish off the Jake's yeah. lure. I used my um my Joe's fly. That's been pretty good. We've got a couple off of other flies. So it's. I mean, if you come up here. You can dinner. get a lot of good things um, just off of anything, but some things work better than others. It's been a great night. So we're back here, we gutted the fish, and now we're gonna cook them over the fire in some tin foil. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, like, Aaron. Yeah, you you want to that a lot out. of people. Oh, right there. 
Oh yeah, you need to scrape out that uh that kidney. Kidney here. What's that it? black stuff. Oh, that's a kidney? Yeah. Get oh. that out of there. Your... I'll be back <laughs> in a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. Got a perfect ending to a great day here. Amen. There's good fish right off the fire right here. All friends around the fire. It's been wonderful. See you tomorrow.